Hello students, this is Professor Scott Norman and we are in the PSU Fields Lab and uh, this is another lesson that we're going to do today about alcohol. Today we're going to compare uh, methanol versus ethanol. So in order to get uh, pure ethanol, what I did is I took my, um, let me see what I got here, my E85, here we go, so here's my E85 sample and I put a little bit of water in it, I caused phase separation. So I got the water and I got the E85 on the bottom. I got the pure gasoline on the top. So I got a, um, I got one of my turkey basters and I don't have it with me right now, but I took a turkey baster and I, and I got down to the bottom and I pulled out just E85. And I put the E85 in one container, just a little small amount of E85. And then I put methanol, I have some methanol. And so the methanol um, I get from the local um, race shop, we'll call that, um, uh, is in here. It's just a little bitty sample is all it is. You know, and the, and the methanol is very clear, very white, you know, versus the uh, the ethanol that we get in our fuel. When I try to separate it out, it looks more um, amber. It looks more like gasoline is what it does. And so that's the best way I could try to uh, try to get the um, get the ethanol, try to get as pure as ethanol as I can. Um, uh, it's, it's easier to go get E85 with 15% uh, uh, gasoline than it is to try to get pure ethanol. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, light one on fire and then light the other one on fire and just see the difference. And so um, anytime you light a few on fire, you're gonna wanna make sure number one, it's contained. <laughs> number two, there's a way for it to be extinguished and the easiest way to extinguish is is to um, is to uh, remove the oxygen. So what I do is after the after when I extinguish it, I just put a piece of cardboard or something over the the bottle to uh, starve it out of oxygen, and it will um, go out right by itself. And so there's my two samples over here where you guys can see. Got my safety glasses on, and got my handy lighter. And when I do my ethanol, it you can see the flames a little bit, and it. Um, it looks similar to gasoline. I can't see much difference. You know, the flame is um, orange in color. Uh, you know what I would expect for uh, gasoline. And so I don't see much of a difference. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put that one out. So I can see that pretty good. Move that off to the side. And now I'm gonna do my methanol. Here's my methanol. So if I take a look at that, I can barely see it. But it's, a, but it's a blue color. It's very, very blue. It's hard to see. In fact, if, if, if the lights were on, you, you would not be able to see it at all. So I, I turned the lights off, and you can see it's a very, very blue. And those flames, flames are up way high. You know, those flames are going all the way up to that spot right there. We'll see if they'll light this. Oh, there it goes. So it lights that paper on fire so you can see it. So again, so the methanol is a, definitely a different color. I'm going to extinguish it. There we go. So kind of the difference between ethanol versus methanol as far as um, uh, a flame temperature. The other thing I wanted to talk about, students will talk a little bit about, is uh, heat and uh, what does heat do. And if I take a look at the, the back of the bottle of the heat of the ingredients, typically it's alcohol in it. It could be methanol, it could be uh, 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 isopropyl uh, alcohol, but some type of alcohol in it. So, so the deal with heat is that if you have something like gasoline with water in the bottom of it, you know, that water is going to rust and your engine is not going to run on that water. And so, so if you have some water in your fuel, it could be a big problem. So if you put the heat in, you put, you know, this whole bottle of heat in a, in a, um, in a fuel tank, what it does is that the alcohol and the water will combine very similar to what we have over here with the E85. And now this alcohol water combination will burn and so and it will not um it will uh, it will not rust out your uh, your uh, metal parts as bad and it will burn so now your engine will be able to run off of this uh higher octane alcohol content and then obviously then when it gets to the gasoline content it will run on that also so all you're doing when you're buying like a fuel dryer or a heat is you're putting alcohol in your fuel to cause phase separation so the alcohol and the um, and the water combine and is in a form that will combust in your engine. This is Scott Norman uh, for uh, PSU Automotive Technology and uh, this video is for my uh, fuel students. Uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying the videos and uh, I, again if, if you want regular updates uh, please uh, subscribe to uh, Professor Pentain 
on YouTube, and that way you'll get these uh, updated uh, weekly videos for class. Thank you very much.